Oh, that 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 doesn't work. <laughs> Thank you. Can't hear you. Yeah. I was talking. Uh, sorry, I had myself muted. Um, let's start over again. Welcome to the Hannibal is Hungry YouTube channel. My name is Hannibal. Um, let me know if you can actually see. You can hear my. You can hear me talk now. Um, yeah, that was for that was. I had it muted because I was waiting for someone. To, uh, <laughs> I was doing some stuff now. I, I was yelling at some dogs, so I didn't want to have it. But you can hear me now. Good. That was a lot. That was a lot said. So let me start over. Welcome to the channel. Um, Jedediah Brown is on his way. Uh, we had a little bit of a. I I, didn't, I wasn't. I didn't know what time zone he was in. I think that was a bit of a confusion in terms of the time of the live, but we got it all cleared up. He's gonna. He's heading home. Um, he'll be on in about ten minutes. So we're gonna hang out and talk for a little bit before he jumps on. Um, now we're back to what I said before. I was I muted myself. It's been a crazy couple of days, especially for him. Um, how the administration has responded to a lot of his information. Um. Oh, Central. See, I thought he was in uh, PST, so I, I, I totally don't know what I was talking about. Texas is not PST. It's Central. Okay. Well, anywho, I, I called him. I said, uh, no, I said this time, but we got it all figured out. So he, he's going to, he's heading home and we'll, we'll definitely get that conversation going. I already see some super chats in here. Let me just show, you know, show some love to people who show love to the channel. Um, D James with $2 super chat. Appreciate you. Got my popcorn. <laughs> was that coffee? Popcorn and coffee ready or coffee? It's like popcorn and tea ready. But yeah, we're going to definitely um, have a really um, cool conversation. A uh, real late night crew with the $20 Super Chat. Appreciate you. I know you. I saw you earlier in there. Um, and then also $5 because I don't know uh, that I was muted. It's not annoying. You're sitting there just talking and talking. And yeah, whatever. I'm sure you can relate, but appreciate that. And the $50 Super Chat from Polly Chosen. Uh, w. Appreciate all of the support. Much, much love, Polly Chosen. Much, much love. So, um, and I know you guys are watching this from all parts of the country, parts of the world. So, we're going to have that conversation. Um, Jedi Brown had a pretty good live on his YouTube, uh, on his Facebook um, earlier, kind of clearing up some things. So, it'd be nice when he comes over here because, you know, YouTube and the Facebook uh, audience. A little different. Like some people don't bother with Facebook. Some people don't bother with YouTube. So I think uh, the goal, uh, at least for me, is to spread at least the message, what he's trying to do, uh, what he is uh, have uncovered so far. And it seems like it's been a lot. I mean, the last live talking about some of the stuff that he um, has uncovered allegedly that's going on with the police department and the tow truck companies. It's mind blowing stuff. I, it's interesting. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen something like this before. And you guys let me know in the chat. Have you ever seen the, the type of allegations that's been brought about a, you know, a mayor or a political group to this extent? I mean, yeah, you got the big, you know, you got the, the DC mayor, I forgot his name. Uh, but you know, there's a few like mayors out there that had some issues. Um but I don't know, nothing to this extent, at least this much details of not just one person, but dozens of people and all the things that they are allegedly have been accused of doing, bringing down this town in such a, it's such a, basically just destroying it with the way they're running it, running it like a crime ring. Um, why has the AG done nothing to, to even intervene? There's a few little press releases, but he has not done anything. And, you know, we can see the, you know, we don't really just talk about pictures. And a lot of people take pictures of, you know, each other. But she has, a, you know, the picture of her. And this, this is the, the guy that's supposed to be jumping in when, when the people are begging for help. They're saying, listen, please come in. There's this mayor. She's out of control. She's running the township. It's out of control. Can you come in and do your job? And unfortunately, um, many, at least two cases, according to, according to the people I've talked to, these two cases that he could have took a look at and he refused to. So it looks like this thing is bigger than Tiffany Hangard. This, this is deeper. This is what a lot of you guys uh, have talked about in the chat, that there's corruption that's deep-rooted. It's a cultural corruption, at least politically. 
and Hany are just another cog in this in this machine. Um, and she's probably the squeakiest clog, and she needs to. I mean, I think all parties are probably saying like she's been too loud. Even the people who are probably doing wrong, even they're saying like, listen, this person is out of control. Um, I don't know if you guys saw her the latest um video that she put out on the Village of Dalton channel. We actually, we'll, we'll watch that real quick. Uh, before that, I want to just throw some love at John Luna. Uh, ten dollars super chat. Can't wait for this. Should be exciting. I hope this is going to be a great live stream as usual. I'm going into the background. Appreciate you. And I'll answer your email, John. I know you emailed me a while ago. I had a chance to uh to check it out. So let me let's let's check out this little video. I call it a propaganda um piece. And and, and I just feel bad for the person who who edited this because clearly it was a rushed, a very rushed job. Um and it's interesting too, after everything has been posted, that they still keep it up. But I guess they don't they just don't care. So let me sh- let me share that with you guys real quick, and I'm sure you guys already seen my post about it, and <laughs> uh, some some of the errors that you can notice off the off the top. <laughs> you know, if you're going to do the fake the fake um, the fake news article thing, fill in the Fill in the, the the dummy text. You know, I mean, you don't have to be an editor to, to see this. You know, people stop the video to look at things. You know, human beings are very, very curious creatures. So the fact that you, I could pause this, and, and mo- I'm sure most of you guys probably picked it up. You're pausing, you're reading, you're like, wow, they, they couldn't get any of this taken care of. They couldn't fix this. You know, details matter. Because if you can't, if you're not able to have a team where someone that is making a a a, a, a five minute video can't have, can't spell words correctly, falsehoods is spelled wrong. Um, they just took this. It was probably a template, like a template graphic. Just put her face in it, put a title, and didn't fix this. This is this is the problem. What you gotta do is stop it. Like, well, if they can't get this right, then it, the town doesn't have any. The village doesn't have any hope. You know, as much as you can say, well, it's just a video. They can't get this done right after everything that's been said and how much she's she's getting booed, how a lot of her supporters are embarrassing themselves. And then she puts this out and we all stop. It's like, wow, she can't. To the point, like, I was always asked this question. Is this real? Is is how is this even uh, uh, acceptable? Um, Tanya Harper with the uh, 999 Super Chat. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Bless you, brother. The late night crew, definitely, definitely appreciate uh, all the support. Um, thank you, Tanya, for the five dollars super chat between you and Shane Burgundy. I am tired, but I can't stop watching you guys. Keep it fun and informative. Hoping the best for them. Um, same, same as well. I, I and I know it's extremely exhausting. I mean, imagine people that are living there and what they have to do. Um, but they've been, I think they've still been positive. They they still have the sense of humor. They are willing to help. They're willing to even understand if you don't agree. You know, like I had some thoughts about um, the decision for uh, Lightfoot. And they, you know, they saw that, but still willing to talk and work with me and even reach out to to give their opinions on the subject. And it's still all up. Like they're still, you know, they're not doing what the other side is doing, shutting down anytime someone does anything that they disagree with. They really they, they want to threaten and and uh, just try to ruin their lives because they don't agree with their side of things. So there's a big difference. It's like night and day. We could try. We could look, look at this video real quick. This is the propaganda piece. We watch it. And the thing is, isn't it just this is what she's supposed to do? Like this is the job of what all people in in positions, you know, right? Like I. Like you know, it's it's you know, it's a propaganda thing. It's trying to say, but it's like, what? This is it? Like, okay. So this, I just saw this. Uh, someone pointed out, this out to me. Trustees accused of spreading falsehoods. Is that how you spell falsehoods? It's already a running joke that she can't pronounce certain words properly. And. And I, I, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not going to blame the person who made this video. The person who made this video 
was probably under a lot of pressure. You know, simple, but this is just more of she can't get a video to look decent or a video to to a point where we're not making fun of it, we're not looking at it and just analyzing it and looking at well, she can't get the simple things corrected, right? Um, who knows? Maybe she doesn't know how sp- uh, false is, is cor- uh, spelled. Maybe she wrote it herself. I don't know. But if you can't get this done right, that's why everyone's so concerned with her running things. This is the receipt, y'all. A picture of her showing a piece of paper. This is the receipts of a picture of her showing people papers. That's the receipts. Hmm. Not really good. Not really helpful at all. Um, $10 from Reality Check TV Chicago. Appreciate the, the super chat honoring authentic necessary news interviews. But, uh, oh, that's awesome. That's a pretty, let me read that whole thing. Honoring authentic necessary news interviews, blessing all listeners, investigations. And she hasn't been arrested for anything. So help her out. Even though there's a lot of evidence that something is going on, won't you help her? She's a black woman and we shouldn't question her. In fact, this is, you know, just let her keep doing what she's doing. You know, there's problems on both sides. <laughs> like, no, no, we're not doing that. That's a, that's not a good move. When choosing a proper body of text font, choose the ones that will suit your publication. You can choose um, serif fonts to have to have proven to be a great choice for body text. I, I agree. Um, some of them are Carlson, Jensen, uh, Chronicle, Miller. I don't know any of these fonts off the top of my head. I, but, um, you know, although they are popular, never ever use Die Dot. Interesting. Don't use that font, you guys. Um, I don't know why do we want to talk about fonts next to the people's mayor. I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Super mayor. Should have been like a um a little space between super mayor. Like, I don't know. I think I got her signature. But what why she want us to know about tech, like body text fonts? I mean, creators probably need to know that, but like why why are you telling us this? This is this is this a smoke screen? Is this is this a distraction? Um you're telling me that die dot, don't use die dot for uh, body text. They're not intended for display at small sizes and lengthy article reading because of their big contrast in thick and thin strokes. So this is pretty, this is important to know about, I guess. Hold on a second. She had a look at her hand. Love y'all and I got you to do it around. Okay, she had, she had like a quick stop to look that that was the shape of her heart. I guess is almost ready. Um, let me know if you're ready, uh, Jedi. Do a thumbs up. If you're just doing voice, let me know. You can text. We could watch the rest of this uh, nonsense video <laughs> real quick. Actually, I think I, I think I saw Burgundy Blue commentary. Appreciate you for becoming a member. Member, appreciate you. One of these days, I'm going to just jump on your live. I know, you, you you know, you're eating. Like, if there's, like, a buffet or there's foods there, I'm the person eating. Like, my phone is out, not they're just, like, eating food and drinking and talking. Like, I'm not really do, I don't do too much, like, on the scenes stuff. I probably should. I would just, just like to be there and kind of get a, a feel for myself about the community and and what's going on there and talking to the people who actually are there. In person, so um, long story short, I have to definitely have to go over there. Let's finish up. Real, real, listen. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely, uh, definitely gonna come through. Like, but no, I just gotta figure out what's the best time to get over there. Um, obviously, just to take a, a view of the of you know the Dalton, not necessarily to, like to make content necessarily. Um, is this you? Who watched the entire video? I did not. It's actually the first time. Like I, I saw the beginning and just want to make fun of it. Is this just a really long music video, a video she's already did? Is that all there is? Because I, I probably won't watch the entire thing. But if that's all that she's doing, um, get rid of the sound. I'm not tired of this. But is, is this all she's talking about? Her job. So she wants to. She's letting us know. Yes, I may have covered a sexual assault case. I have bullied businesses and individuals who do not like me. Um, therefore, 
you need to chill out. No, Kiki says, um, all those vo all those videos spice together into one long video with music. That's it. Okay, so we don't necessarily need to listen to the music. It's her just doing the same videos that have been already recorded that's probably on the Village of Dalton website or YouTube channel. So we're not really learning too much about anything. It's just, this is a promotion. She's just promoting herself and and not answering the questions. Like it should not be, uh, this is giving me a pick me, pick me vibes. Yeah, it's 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 a pro, it's propaganda, and we all do, everything is propaganda. Not just you know dictators in North Korea that does propaganda piece. America do it's it's just you want a certain narrative to be presented to counter the other things that's been said about you or your administration. So she wants to show the positive things. There's so there's too much negative things, and, you need, and that you know she needs to attack that. What happened in Vegas? What's going on with the money? Um, what is your answer? Have you ever said sorry to Carol Wilson and her family? Have you ever even just provided some level of condolences to that family? Regardless of what you think of what happened, did you ever go to the Wilson family and say, I am sorry for your loss? This is a, tra a tragedy. Regardless of your feelings of wh wh who was right or who was wrong, did you do that? Can you apologize? For not doing that, stuff like that, you know, when when they have certain, when they have uh, people who are talking about their loved ones and what happened, can you at least look at them as they speak? Can you not so be so quick to to move on to the next person? Can you show some level of empathy, like you're a human being, like stuff like that? That would be a great video, not, you know, not not this not this nonsense. That would be something that's that's should be um, presented. But yeah, show, showing, showing some kind of, uh, of that we all connected. She says that we all love each other, we, but the, the people don't feel that way when there's certain things are happening. And, and I, it's possible she does not have the ability to feel that. She probably doesn't. I mean, she kept a family that she was the landlord kept them in a, 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 a home was full of mold, continued to collect money from Section 8, and didn't really do anything to fix the problem. So you look at someone who probably doesn't care and, or don't have the capacity to care. And right now she's just, I don't know, she's, like, she's an alien trying to figure out how human beings care about each other. So she's like looking and trying to mirror it, but she can't even get that done properly. I mean, that's just my thought. I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm just saying. Um, did I miss? I think I miss a few. Jackie O, ten dollars super chat. Hannibal to Dalton, appreciate. It. Yeah, I'm, again, I'm going to be there. I just got to figure out when is the best time to go there. Um, I know just to go into the the village hall is too small, and also I think residents should have priority to go in there. Um, so I got to figure out what's the best stop. Um, I, I see Jared die. Is he ready? Oh, I'm gonna bring you on in a second. Um, and um, Konya Williams, thank you for being a member. So I think Jedi is ready. Let's let's put them all. Put them right. Wait. Oh, uh, he he popped out. Oh, I'll say five minutes. All right, hold on. We'll still we'll still we'll still uh, we'll still chill out for a minute. I think he he came on, but he bounced back out. Hopefully, he get that all taken care of. Uh, Hannibal, you may not have been doctor, but. Okay, on one TV, just describe a sociopath. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you go through the definitions, you check it out, you you assess the patterns of behavior. Like we've all seen this person. At least I've uh, uh, listened and watched to basically at this point hundreds of hours of her talking, and you you pick up on certain things. Um, you just pick up on how, she, and then also you talk to other, you see other people. Other politicians or um, scammers, gurus, they all have that similar way. They, they, they can connect. They're very charismatic. But when it comes to true understanding of, of human condition, they don't know. They, and they, they're, they're guessing. And also, they think they're smarter than everyone else, which usually doesn't really work. Um, all right, I, think, I think we're ready. All right. I'm going to pop you in right now, see if you, we can hear you. 
Greetings. Awesome, awesome. I appreciate you coming through. I know you're extremely busy, man. And you know, I'm sorry for the, the communication. I forgot what time zone you were in. And I'm thinking, oh, you're all the way in like Cal no, no, you're in Texas. So clearly it's not three hours, it's two hours. So I that's that's my fault. But I appreciate you uh, being flexible and coming through um to talk to me and talk to the to the people on YouTube. Man, it's definitely not to be on here, Hannibal. I am a fan now. Um, I need to subscribe, and you're too kind. I think it was me forgetting about some things and moving around, being busy. But I'm <laughs> glad we're here. Thank you for having me. Awesome. It, it's all about just coming together. You know, nothing is uh, perfect, so it's it's all good as long as we kind of come through at the end there. So for those who don't know, and they, if any people who already been on my channel know you already, at least good amount checking out some of the content. Um, for, for those who haven't been on Facebook, just real quick, like a brief introduction of who you are um, and what prompted prompt you to be here, or at least be here, but to investigate Dalton, like, I guess that whole situation. So I am a, um, well, at this particular point, I actually own a few businesses, uh, but for the most part of my life and what the public would know is that I'm a Chicago bread advocate. Um, I've been in Chicago for the most part of my entire life, except for the last five years to where I'm in and out of the city. But while I was in Chicago, I've been around some of the most notorious and notable cases working as an advocate. My work has expanded more to investigate investigations in my advocacy. And so with people knowing my particular style of advocating and trying to get to the bottom of things, I had literal residents and people who are elected officials and honestly Hannibal, some law enforcement officers asked me to come and help people, the people in Dalton who had been working on this literally for two years before they got all this, the help that they now seemingly have. Yeah. Um, and, and you talking about being a part of a, some notorious uh, cases. Just, you know, we're going to go into your style and some of the stuff you haven't uncovered. But, I mean, you, you know more than I do. Have you ever seen something like this before? Like, is this, I mean, I never have. But maybe you maybe you've have. Have you ever seen something that's gone this deep with so much connections and everyone just seems to be corrupt and, and, and. like, have you ever seen something like this as you've been investigating over the last couple of weeks in this situation? It's a two-part answer. The first thing I'm gonna say is I live in the most I, I live in the most corrupt county right. in the country, right? So yeah, I've right, seen right. I've seen this this is literally uh the democratic machine of Illinois on display. But mm -hmm. I've never literally I was only brought in for a sexual assault allegation. And as we began to put the DOTTS together, I ran into something that I literally I've never seen. And I never imagined that such a small village like Dalton that we typically just ride past and ride through mm -hmm. would become the epicenter of proof of exactly how people are suffering in the state of Illinois. Yeah, I mean, I think the last like you had you had a live earlier today, but the one that I think I saw maybe it was the day before blew my mind. With again, you, you were here for, primarily for for the trustee um, Holmes and what he's been alleged of doing back in Vegas. But like I said, it kind of opened up um, to more. And, and what what prompted you to, to open up more? Was it because of how the administration was behaving, how they behaved towards you? Like it was a natural transition to just to open up the investigation beyond Holmes. So, I mean, we were trying to basically get as much information as we could about the sexual assault allegation. And I had I, I've seen things, you know, even all the way in Texas, I'd seen Dalton come up over my phone. But I'm like, OK, it's Dalton. Who cares? Like, I'm, you know, not even really paying attention. I've been seeing YouTube reports. It was things that we were hearing, but I wasn't really aware. But my thing was, if this gentleman is accused of such a heinous thing against a black woman, then why isn't the black woman seated in a place of authority doing something about it? Mm -hmm. And I want to give kudos to all of the amazing journalists and YouTubers and content creators because it was because of you all's reporting that I said, wait a minute, it's way more to this. And we just were trying to get to the bottom of what, but definitely did never ever imagine that it would be all that we have now today. 
Yeah, I mean, you know, first it's was, it was already crazy, but like there's even more, like I said, deeper level of it where, you, you know, talking about, you know, again, all alleged, but the police department and how they're connected to certain businesses like the tow truck companies and, and all these characters that are all involved. And it seems like no one is clean, but I'm sure there are someone that, but at the same time, you, you if you are dealing with this uh, mayor and supervisor, it's difficult to kind of figure out who is on the up and up and who isn't. Um, have you have you been able to kind of separate who's been doing the job correctly and who isn't, or is it all everyone is under scrutiny to a certain extent? I'm gonna have to say allegedly, but they are. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm allegedly, just... right? It's all no, allegedly. Okay. allegedly. Everybody has. Let me, let me let me put it like this: This is a mayor who actually, if you don't do her bidding, and if you're not doing what their will is. You will be fired. You'll be excommunicated. You will be mishandled, targeted, and intimidated. Everybody that currently has a seat ought to be checked three, four, five times because they've done something that they were supposed to do to keep the positions that they are in. Mm. Mm. It, is yeah. the, it is literally the culture. This isn't just a bunch of bad acts. This <laughs> is the culture that has been created by a undoubtedly corrupt administration. And no, and it's so it's so crazy because not only did this administration think that they can get people to do illegal acts, and in some of it, there there this is ignorance on this administration's part. But they literally had people do unspeakable things, then turned around and let them out to dry. Well, now all of those people are hurt. They're mad. They're 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 frazzled. And what do you think that they're doing? They're talking. Yeah, I, I would assume so. Because, like you said, you all we all did this job together or this, and you're pushing me out, what what choice do I have? I'm going to retaliate. So so I'm sure that's how many of the information you probably picked up, is, that's how you're getting it. But I guess I, I found you interesting as well because I, I, didn't know in, I didn't know you until you kind of just came on the scene. And uh, the one thing I did know that the people who trust, trusted me with information and, and communicating with me trusted you. So I knew that that you definitely were going on to something, but your style has been something that you talked about this earlier today on your live. But when you, when you first kind of jumped on the scene, how would you judge the response you received from the community of Dalton when you kind of came in, um, especially with, with the, I guess the, the regular board meeting on the first to now, because I feel like it has been a shift, but I don't know. I, I guess I'll ask you, 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 you're the man that you know, in your shoes, Tell me about your that experience of the response the community had towards your style and the information you're putting out. We're still working on that. We, we're kind of processing that right now. <laughs> However, again, I was brought in for a sexual assault, a sexual assault situation. And what literally kind of really ultimately shifted me was me on viewing what I would feel to be civil rights violations, uh, Cheryl Hill. I saw the incident with Cheryl Hill and that made me say, wait a minute, I need to go a little further. And then the people who you're talking about that we both know in common, let's just be very clear here. I didn't come in here and just do some amazing job all by myself figuring out the T. There are people who have been oppressed and living under this for years that have not been afraid. They've been speaking out. They've been investigating. They've been researching. And when I came, they just basically said, look, you can do what you do, but we want to make sure that you are not just blurting out anything and that you understand we have been fighting. And so I, I, I'm, I'm visible, I'm very loud, but there are so many heroes in this that I cannot wait to they're, they're talked about. So the shift of it has, this is what I love. Dalton has remained hospitable. Of course, you have Absolutely. a few detractors and you have people who say, well, because anybody in the public, I've been in the public for years. Anytime I go somewhere, they say, wait, messy. I've been called zesty. You know, I've had a lot of things been said. So the people are like, can we trust him? Mm -hmm. And I feel like I, uh, even when I went to that first Dalton meeting, people were like skeptical as I'm standing in between the police and the citizens and I'm yelling back and forth. And they're like, can we trust him? But that trust factor, I've been building on it. And I have been having to consistently respond to questions and allegations. And I do that. I try to be responsive because I understand perception is true. There are a lot of rumors out there, but they've always been um, um, hospitable. And we continue to work on that relationship as we process this very difficult space we're all in. Yeah, um, I agree with the bill. Even when 
um, many people may be disagreeing with some of the stuff I've said, but they still were able to reach out and have a civil conversation, which is the complete opposite on the other side. And I'm sure the people that you're that you're investigating, but but your, your personal uh, uh, challenges dealing with this. I mean, I know there's I don't know if it's a lawsuit. I didn't hear exactly what's going on, but tell me your biggest challenges you have faced during your investigations. Um, I, I, are you are are you being threatened? Obviously, legally, there's some issues, but tell me about the impact on your personal life dealing with this uh, in, with this investigation. So we we'll have to stay on the move. This place that I'm in right now is, is is a it's a broadcasting place. It's literally an empty apartment that I have for the purposes of doing this. But because of this, I've literally had to uproot my comfortable life. I had to, I'm getting a new place to live. Um, I am. I, I I was a violence interrupter at one time in Chicago, so I got a lot of relationships with street organizations. And then I was kicking the ass of now Governor J.B. Prisco when he ran, and he was paying off everybody. And I met even more gangsters and street people. And I've gotten tons of calls of people saying, "Hey, they're shop. People are shopping around trying to figure out how to get at you." I've said a lot without saying anything. They're trying to figure out how to get at you. Uh, I understand that there are advocates who are coming up and they're trying to plan and organize things to try to discredit me or to gang up against me for this mayor. Uh, legally, I have a restraining order. I have a cease and desist order. I have a, 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 a I have a lawsuit pen, uh, prerequisite, pretext to a lawsuit, basically saying that if I don't take down my videos and show this information that I have and who gave it to me, if I do that, it goes away. If I don't, we go to court. That is nothing more than them trying to figure out who my sources are. But remember, Hannibal, I'm yeah. homeless. And so it, it, is, it, is, it, is, it is a lot. You literally see that this administration still hasn't learned anything. They're still wep weaponizing the government, weaponizing the courts. They're trying to, these are ghetto ass people. Can I cuss on here? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, working yeah, on this. Go ahead. Yeah, good night. Okay, go ahead. Well, go ahead. These are ghetto ass motherfuckers <laughs> who got a little bit of power and they still don't use it well because they think people are afraid that they're smarter. As you said, these are sociopath, narcissistic mm -hmm. people that are corrupt and literally they think that they're going to use street tactics with government power and they're just not smart enough. Simple. Yeah. And you and it sounds like you have touched a nerve because of how they're, they've been reacting towards, especially the last couple of lives. You've made some, you know, there's some serious allegations against local officials in the police department. I'm wondering um, when, I guess, eventually, are you going to provide more details? Um, like you've already kind of mentioned a lot, like that, that one live where you were kind of showing the pictures of all the, uh, the people I was, it was overwhelming because the amount of corruption allegedly that exists here um will will these challenges slow your investigation down um or do you have tactics and strategies to kind of move around this like you know what's the state of what you're able to do um as you kind of continue on with this investigation i've been doing this a long time i know how to move my teams are very very well equipped and experienced people often think um you know i i don't really like I think Obama said one thing that I absolutely love. The greatest gift that anyone can give you is to underestimate you. Um, and I and I and I try. I, like I said, I'm a person that said a lot without saying a lot. I was asked by law enforcement and elected officials to come and help. So you don't think that I'm gonna require them to help me too? But the thing is, if they wanted to stop me, this wouldn't no way. Because is am I gonna stop because of this? Hell no. I'm going to go harder because it means I'm getting close to something. It means that you're uncomfortable for a reason. The way that they could have stopped this was to simply recall for the resignation of Andrew Holmes. Let him fall from under the guise of the protection of this organization so that I could pursue the sexual assault situation. But now, because of what's going on, now I demand for Lieutenant Staples to be fired or to resign. So what happens now is the more they agitate me as an advocate that's just simply disseminate information as is being made available to me, the more they do that against me, the deeper I dig. And so that's my response. You threaten me, I'm finna uncover cover everything. And then it got a little messy. I don't know if you saw my laugh today. Even my mama got on and rebuked me today saying, look, this woman got kids. And I'm like, so 
<laughs> but we <laughs> we're digging deeper and it is yeah. so sad because I want to feel sorry for her because I believe they're real mental illnesses but yeah. ignorance is not it, ignorance doesn't give you a pass from for, from breaking the law and so right. my issue is you're an elected official you're a leader but every level that we turn over a stone we find something that says oh my god this is terrible this is not a good administration this is not a good person and this damn sure is not a good situation you have a, i guess you have a thought or maybe you have information on why she hasn't told Holmes, yo step off man just resign this is not looking good for anyone you ever had an idea of why that hasn't happened because everybody she's fired have turned on her, so now they're trying to keep everybody close. Mm -hmm. And when you do dirt, dirt with people, you can't abandon them so easily when they can turn around and start telling your mess, your, 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 your information and your tea. Um, I think that she also doesn't have a lot of supporters. A lot of her friends around her are new, and she needs these people to help her have any kind of footing if there's any chance to have it so that she can hold on as long as she can why they do their best to backpedal and cover up some of this stuff. I think they also counted on this being such a small village and nobody was going to care about, and they'll be able to fix this. But also, you find here that there's a culture of fraternizing and not necessarily nepotism, but they're enriching their individual personal lives and their friends with this village. And you find out to where you could tell greed has gotten in to where they've done too much. And so now they're trying to keep things close and buy more time so that they can cover up some of this mess. But it's just been too big and it's been too much. It's become an international issue. Hannibal, this thing is worldwide. And yeah, yeah it's a worldwide issue now. And no, she's not going to try. She's not going to call for the resignation of these people because guess what? This even this 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 ship has holes in it. They're still trying to pull water out of it they don't realize every day there's a new hole because we're not stopping all right i've uh according to that one of your that lies when you kind of bringing out a, a lot of i guess you could consider it public or personal fraternizing or relationships that seem to be all intermingled and and i know some people who had some issue of wow this this is really messy and is this is this necessary um i think it is but to those who have that that um idea of like wow should we know who slept with who and or who did what with whom why do you think it's important to have or at least to to report this um this kind of i guess we call the messiness of it and so i am messy i always say i'm messy because i give truth truth is messy but no i don't think that it's necessarily everybody business who's sleeping with who uh except for when it actually connects dots Mm -hmm. So some of the people who we're showing or talking about their infidelity and their sleep, their sleeping, we I'm trying to make the case that this is why these people are so tough with each other. You see these same names on almost everything. Like one of the people we talked about is Carmen, the, the mayor's chief of staff, sleeping with her uh, lead advisor around finance. Now, I could have just simply talked about his bankruptcy filing and his unethical lifestyle, and how could a man who literally is trying to use the government to defraud consistently the lead advisor and the credit card holder of the township when it comes to finances, I could have just stayed there, right? But right. when you sit there and you're like, well, why isn't the chief of staff advising this mayor effectively about the mishandling of funds? Wait a minute, because he's fucking the finance director. And so that, and then they're doing some of this stuff on company time. Yeah. When they're paid, I wouldn't have never talked about her fucking if she wasn't fucking in Las Vegas while they was there to do an economic summit. You, but but you're compromised. You right. cannot do your job because you're having relations with him and about five other people in this administration. Yeah, it's affecting it's affecting the taxpayers. That is compromised your job, compromising everything when you're out there. Uh, I guess fraternizing is probably a word I could use. <laughs> fraternizing, um, right. But, but we've decided, okay, I know that some of them are gay. We're not going to put out the gay information because mm -hmm. it's not necessarily on company time. It is not necessarily 
affecting the, 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 the constituents directly. But Hannibal, I literally could do seven days worth of lives just on who fucking who alone. Yeah. Which again, like you said, you, you, you're you picking the ones, things like I said, that's that's about uh, the company time, that's connected to some level of corruption. So that makes sense. Like I said, I think it's, it's like I said, it's messy, it's dirty, but to bring truth to light, you kind of have to talk about those certain things. The one thing you did mention on one of the lives, I think the, the last one you had was next week being hell week. And I wanted to know, like, you know, I'm interested in, like, why do you, why are you prepping for next week to be Hell Week? Like, what's going on? I know you have a report, but what what are you anticipating that's going to happen <laughs> next week? Um, of course, I can't put it out too soon, but I'll say everything that's coming out will not be coming from me. But I think it's going to I think there's some things that are coming up that's going to give further credibility. Again, I'm not the only person that's out here doing great work. There are, there are going to be things that are going to come out that further validate the conversation and the allegations. And uh, the way I know about it is, again, because now what was a focused effort on one issue is now a collaborated effort on behalf of Dalton. Because we're trying to stop Dalton from becoming its new tagline being Dick and Dollars. Because Dalton, Dick and Dollars. Because that is literally what they're dealing with. But yes. some of the things people saying, well, Jedediah, you're saying some very weighted stuff. They kind of need to touch it a little bit more. And I think that this will be a week where people are going to have more of a feeling of the real receipts because some mm. of that stuff is getting ready to come out. It's going to be right. a, Hannibal, this is going to be a week to remember. Just remember I said. Definitely. All right. I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm waiting. I can't wait uh, to, to get more information on exactly, like I said, the the, the Hanyard always talks about receipts and never provides receipts, never pot, or, uh, like never really brings to light to answer anything, even things that's like you know that's critical of her. It it doesn't happen. Like I just we just showed a, a village of Dalton video of her, just splice videos of her doing her job, not answering any of the questions that's currently going on. And, and I know she was particularly, uh, ang- I'm sure it looks looked like she was angry with you when you were able to talk to. <laughs> It had us talk to her during the township meeting. Um, that was wild. That was a wild meeting. Um, you were you were going. You didn't stay in one place at one at all. You, you were going in and out of the. I was like, and then I'm, I'm watching. I hope everything happened. Hope everything is everyone's safe. I hope no, there's no punches are thrown because it was a lot of emotion. Describe that experience real quick if you can about you hanging out in that in that township meeting. You ask me my style, and if you really do the research on Jedediah, the reason why I piss off everybody is because when I leave from the moment of in, from information to actual organized movement, everybody yeah. can get it. And so <laughs> <laughs> that's my style. Everybody can get it. And I'm going for the juggler vein because mm-hmm. I don't think that war is a pretty thing. And so what you see in this meeting is me saying, all right, you know what? I know what I'm talking about. But at the same time, y'all playing in my face because I have a little bit of PTSD. I had just been surrounded by Dalton police and served a shorthand protection order after pursuing again what was my target, this sexual assault allegation. I show up at the uh, the trustee's home. We need you to answer to these allegations. Police show up. It jades me. I get served paper. And I'm like, wait a minute. If, If what I'm doing is incorrect, you guys don't have to fight to protect it or target me. I don't like the court system. I don't like police surrounding me because of things I've been through. And then you put paperwork on me. You're putting paperwork on me saying that I'm a stalker for somebody I don't know. So when I left where I was at, I was determined to give them hell. So now it's no longer information. I'm on the move. I'm going to this township meeting and I want all the smoke. And I thank God for people who are praying for there not to be no punches thrown. But stop praying for that, because I think that we need y'all putting spiritual blocks upon my carnal move. I need my flesh to have its way. I wanted one of them to throw a punch because I'm tired of people thinking just because I'm five, eight and one hundred and fifty six pounds that I ain't never become a bully. I, I was a bully to sixth grade. Now I'm a bully. I like when they grow uh, people throw punches. Go look at the Donald Trump rally. That white man jumped on my back. Hey, make up. I want that kind of smoke. I, I hear that. Uh, so I see a bunch of. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry, guys. I had a chance to check out the chats real quick. 
Um, it said uh, Hannibal's hungry. Tell Jedi to talk about the guy who lied on his work application. <laughs> um, well, real quick, if if you uh, simply you actually had a history with with Michael Smith, but why was he? F- that's the thing about Tiffany's side and the way they behave. And I and I think Stephanie Weinman also says like her team is aggressive and angry, and it felt cornered, and it was definitely a fight or flight, and they chose to fight. So it's like that, like you said, if you give me the the, the energy, I will bring it back to you. Um, but Michael Smith seems like he was really off the chain with the, the yelling and just was he always that acted that way from like I think I think everybody in Illinois is crazy as hell. It is just the it's the water. But Michael Smith was at one point a respect a respected young man mm-hmm. who had who was doing amazing things. He became a trustee in the village of Dixmore, even smaller than Dalton. And he had aspirations of running for mayor. And I remember being so proud of this young man, my age group, who was a trustee that was going to be mayor. And he literally, since then, had lost his damn mind. Oh, we just figured out who he really is. So right. one of the biggest things for me is not even, one of the biggest things is that this is a man who attacked his own grandmother. He was charged for attacking his own grandmother. And so one of the things I did like about Tiffany is that Tiffany gave, people an opportunity that they otherwise would not have had right. and in giving the, them these opportunities she gave them a resource level that they otherwise would not have had people mm-hmm. could talk about having money all the time but i love key price key price is somewhat of a, one of my few political heroes another person who served in government who held government to task i don't think that he's a corrupt person i can't find traces to that yet but I do know that he went from getting a role that he wouldn't have got, making $60,000, to now having it doubled to almost $120,000. Of course I'm going to defend my boss. And so when I look at Michael, I don't know exactly what he's getting out of this, but here is a man who groomed children. Yeah, It's on paperwork. This is a man who had been proven to be a harm to society. And not only prior, but continues to show the behavior. He literally got fake accounts threatening people's lives. He's showing up and being extremely despicably dis, uh, uh, disgusting like me, but I'm not doing it for nobody official. So he, he's doing it for them. And she surrounds herself with these people, but it's, but it, you literally see it is because the culture is, if we got, if we, they think that there is honor among thieves, Hannibal. Yeah. They think that they're in this together. And if I got something on you, I can control you. But you see these people around her, this criminal element around her, and that's all you see. And it is because they are the ones who are going to do the dirty deeds and hopefully look the other way. Michael Smith is looking for relevance. He's looking for a payday. He didn't even like Tiffany. He supported the the mayor before her. He was against her. And now all of a sudden he's for her. It's because he's getting something out of the deal. He's a paid provocateur. He should completely be discredited and not even paid attention to because he's an idiot. Gotcha. Gotcha. But I want to do one favor for me when you have a chance. I want you to watch my video about Keith Price. We don't talk about it now, but I would like, uh, I would like if you have a chance, I would like you to check out my video on Keith Price because you you may uh, see that him and uh, Michael Smith have a lot in common. But we'll, we'll talk we'll, we'll talk about that another time. Oh, but um, yeah. Let me find out, Hannibal, you're doing good work, man. Y'all found <laughs> some shit. We, yeah, we, 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 I was check out that video. You will have at least a, a little different view of Keith Price, but we'll we'll move on. Um, real quick though, uh, what is? I mean, again, I, I think I've asked this question, but I guess we're kind of finishing up a little bit. And again, I really appreciate you coming through and having this conversation. What are the next steps in this investigation? I know you talked to people who have who have allegedly. allegedly been victims of homes. You're you're diving deep into what's going on with the with the police department and some of the stuff they've done. What is what is your plan? I guess you know you don't have to show us all your cards, but what what is the next steps in this investigation? Are any specific areas you're looking to explore? Like what's your what's your what's your plans? The first thing I need everybody to do is to like and subscribe to Hannibal's page. I appreciate so that. that- and, and 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 contribute to him because you're doing amazing work. There are not a lot of genuine people out here, especially that look like us. We got to make sure you're over resourced, and this is why we're going to continue to put the information out. We need people like you with the reach to make sure that it's going as far as it needs to go. 
And right now, we have been spending this weekend putting safety measures in place because this is getting a little dangerous. However, like I said, in the next week, it is now a collaborated effort where I'm going to start submitting my processes to a, a larger group. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start giving you all information. This is what I need people to understand. We are not dumb. And there are a lot of amazing people with a lot of expertise who are coming together. They got a lot of friends in a lot of places. We're going to allow information to come out that would not compromise the investigation or impede what we believe may be inevitable arrest. So we're going to give you guys the information. And then there are some other people who are going to give y'all some stuff that's going to have your clutching pearls and gasping. We know what's coming. They've already told us. And conjunctively, we're going to just simply right now keep the pressure because they've unfortunately missed every deadline. There is no more negotiation. There, no, there is no more. You should have let go of Andrew Holmes. We are all in this to the finish. And you guys are going to see us continue to keep the pressure and keep them uncomfortable until there is an arrest, a resignation, or a, uh, a, a peop the people voting differently. And this is the problem, Hannibal. With all yeah. of this, we need people to be registered to vote Absolutely. ready to vote her out because she catered to the to the people who voted her in. So we need now the people who are paying, and, and those are typically seniors. We need people who care about the larger picture. People seniors just want to just not be bothered and have a couple good bingo nights. But we need people who are experiencing the oppression of this administration to be registered to vote to make sure that they vote her out. Because look, even this things that I've said, we are cool with knowing it's good no matter what they do we got it right but we can't get video we can't get access control information we can't get financial records and we can't push the button to get people employed because all of those things are in the control of the mayor so we got to get her out of there so it's going to be either now or later but she will be dealt with it's, it's coming and she knows that definitely when is it when is the next live on your channel well, I, like I said, I'm well. I think just listen, just listen to what I just said. Motherfuckers yeah. finna be ducking, okay? <laughs> so I think I'm gonna. I, I can't tell you when I'm gonna be back online, right. but just give us a couple. Give 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 this week this week because it's yeah. gonna be some other stuff. Y'all ain't even gonna be thinking about what I got to talk about because y'all gonna be like, oh my god, I'm talking about some crazy stuff in the beat from the finish start coming out one after another, and some things that's gonna give better context to why we're fighting the fight. This is just gonna be this is the week. This is the this will be I'm gonna tell you what I think this is. This week is mm. gonna be the beginning of the end. And Lori Lightfoot has a deadline that she has committed. She will not miss. So mm. I think that we're getting closer to the map to the time when we're gonna see this. Hannibal, I thought you was gonna ask me some I was ready to get you some tea, but you ain't <laughs> asking me, so it's okay. Hannibal well, say, go do your job, Jedediah. Well, if you if, I mean, I think a lot of people are looking for that. Uh if you can, because I, I I'm not sure what you can say and what you can't say, you know, obviously, you know, it, it's still litigation, but if you can give us a little taste, um, for people, you know, we've got 3,800 in here. Uh if you have something. You could you could talk about it. What you want to know about? Who you want to know? Uh, let's see, chat. What you guys want to know about? I mean, I do not like uh, Lacey at all. Um, many videos of him, the way he behaves, the way he talks to women, but actually the way he talks to everybody. Um, how quiet he was at the township uh, meeting, just after at all that was going on, and didn't see too much of him. But that issue that he's doing he's, he's the car that he's driving all that type of things um will you have more will you have more information about him and is he connected to even the more shadier stuff i think you've mentioned about the the jail cell that i forgot what jail i think i forgot what your number it was where the camera doesn't work and it's like three um how 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 deep lacy is in, in all this there is it's so sad to me because everybody we've investigated a question, everybody knows that jail, C, jail cell three is what they consider to be the suicide cell. It has a lot of problems. They know that the camera doesn't work well and it has a pipe that goes through it. As I said on the video, that's, that's, that's good for a lynching. But what really troubles us is that we have information that suggests that there were some numbers 
or there were some logins that were altered uh, to make it look like people were checked several times. Chief Collins was more of an ethically, eth ethically moral man. A lot of the stuff that's happening right now is being allowed by the police chief who was sworn to up to protect and serve the people for safety. But this chief seemingly has everything suggesting that he does everything to make sure that they are not safe and that they are oppressed. This police department left their jurisdiction and left their state to go to someone's house and demand their computer that was a former employee. It just shows you how far they will go. Literally, we have them sleeping in cars. I'm uh, Lieutenant Staples. We're now talking to someone about the fact that allegedly pulled over someone in a traffic stop, found them to be attractive, and said to them that if they fuck, that she would let them go. Well, they got in the back of that police car and they fuck. There is no charge. There is no ticket for this particular stop. Mm. These are things that are all done on the Chief Lacey. We watched Chief Lacey intentionally violate the civil rights of Cheryl Hill. We know that there is no printed little gate litigation or restraining order, but she had been barred from meetings. She had been barred from taxpayer events. And these are allegations, right? right. But then you take it a step further and go into this man's personal life. I talked about it on the live. He was the recipient of $100,000 after a man mysteriously died in his driveway. But that man's wife happened to be his mistress and at his swearing in ceremony. But mm. chief, we know that he didn't have the ability to pass the exam. We know that his partner went down. He had a partner in Dalton who went to jail for drug trafficking. He had another partner who was on the detail of the mayor who quit the job because him and Lacey was getting into it. And then that woman shows up at Kingdom Hall where Lacey worships. And then Lacey is barred from worshiping with the Kingdom Hall saints. I could go on and on and on. But no. when you take this, they say that this man went to jail taking the fall for Chief Lacey. So then when we uncover that there is a potential alleged drug ring running through the city of Dalton, it makes sense if there's drugs being transported inside of a police car or hidden inside of a police department that we know will never open. That new police department will never open. Well, what mm. have they been doing with that police department? The guy who was in charge of the ESDA, charged for possession of, of drugs, her boyfriend has a history of doing drugs. So it's not far-fetched to say, well, could there be a drug operation going on? We got information that suggests there's a lot of prostitution going on and people been using coochie power to, to, peep, to, to, to bribe people, to get into positions. I'm sorry, that wasn't about Multiple basically. positions. I'm sorry, yeah. Coochie I know, it's not funny, but it, yeah. I could go on and on and on. I know this sounds so bizarre, but there yeah. are there are many things as it relates to false reports. Uh, we got we got people having reports being doctored up on them. We got people who are dealing with false arrests, having these officers driving past or coming by them. And then look, this is what's crazy to me. There's a woman who's been very vocal. Her car gets mysteriously shot up. Well, we've been doing some looking into that. All I want to say is that all of these things are happening under the purview of Chief Lacey as the chief. Who, yeah. who, who did not have the support of Mayor Hinyard as a trustee, that when she got in there didn't want him to be there. So what was the conversational agreement that changed the entire outlook of a person that even she said basically was no good for Dalton? Yeah, it became she he became a attack dog. What, what was the, the two names that uh that Hanyer called Lacey um when she didn't like him? I forgot the two. I can't I'm sorry, I can't remember the calls, but I know I think, it was a bitch. I think a plunk ass bitch. Yeah, well, uh, and, and I can't remember the other one. <laughs> but she right. didn't like him. And no, she didn't like him. We have proof of. All right. Before I let you go though, because th this th thank you for mentioning this though. Kamal Woods, you said you had a file bigger than it. Like he has the biggest file and I've received emails and a lot of people are, they have information as well. Tell me like, what have you saw in Kamal Woods that like, why is his file so big? Kamal is the boss. This is a the woman. boss. 
He's the boss. Come on, this this is a woman who again, this is other things that will try to that will make you want to be sorry for her, but you can't. Mm-hmm. Um, this is a woman who never had what she had. She never had power, she never had resources, and she never had men who did more than objectify her. And here is a guy who, just for the purposes of making it make sense, I'm understanding is well endowed. This is a guy who had a car wash who tax on her team and he create or gets in a romantic relationship with her. And he is the one pushing her to bully people out properties that he did profit from. This is a guy who was telling her to do things that he think is going to raise her profile, like wear the Nino Brown outfit. This is a guy who is running operations through the village, gets $100,000 for the town, the township. He is known as the real mayor, the real supervisor. But he is the guy steering the ship because he's the one drilling the boss. And she's mm. adhering to this because she wants this man. And you find this because Tiffany Haynard, Henyard has a long record of sleeping with men who are married. So you find a woman who hasn't loved herself enough and she's willing to do whatever she can to get to have this have a man that she will allow some guy who is not even the mayor to actually run her show and put her in danger to the level of some of this stuff she don't even know about. So it is, it's sad, but his foul is the biggest because he is the one that's really in charge. And that's the one that everybody wants. And here it is. I didn't start getting attacked like I am behind the scenes until I mentioned Kamal. She wants to protect him at all costs and so that file is valuable and i'll be releasing that at the appropriate time well yeah i'm very very uh excited for that one because i think it's interesting you said he's the boss where you know i've i thought at least keith freeman had some some pull but i'm guessing that's why the the two probably don't necessarily get along because they're both trying to get curry favor with hanyard but it looks like kamal is the one that's winning obviously because they have that romantic relationship so i'm extremely but 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 Keith Keith liked Keith liked Henyard. Mm-hmm. We have things that suggest Keith liked her, wanted to have a romantic. She has a lot of men who professionally worked with that she <laughs> be messing around with too. But Keith liked her, and of course you got the one, the boyfriend, and the one who likes her. They're giving advice that's crossing each other and wanting to be the favorite or, or in those moments so they have a natural clash right uh but keith keith has to submit to kamal because he listens to his word more but keith has them credit cards and he's the finance man so it's really a really interesting dynamic uh because they they, they even to this point still are in contention about how to how to get this ship out of this mess Right, right, definitely. But, dude, I truly appreciate this time. Um, check out Jedi Brown. You should be on YouTube, man. I think you'll do fantastic on there as well. But check out Jedi Brown on Facebook. I have the link. Uh, I guess the uh, the link comment in here is uh, all of I think Jedi Brown's um, support, Cash App, Venmo. Uh, I mean, I think it's Cash App, Zell. Um, if you want to support his movement, and you know, before we end, tell us about how important it is to support your work and what you're doing. So what's so sad for me is that people think that it's the people, we, we get so easily distracted, uh, Hannibal. I don't have a monetized page or YouTube of all of that because of the intensity of my work. And I try to give less to talk about, but I'm not Oprah. I'm not fucking Elon Musk. I cannot fund this entire thing. There's a lot of evidence that we can get but we can't get because we have literally broke the code of no snitching with money. And so we pay for some of this information and there's a lot of people saying, well, how much can I get for this? And so those resources that people are sending, we're utilizing that to pay for the information that I'm giving to the public. So it's so important for people to fund it because not only are we able to do that, but if anybody gets in trouble, we wanna be able to protect them. If we wanna organize an effort, we wanna have the resources to do it. I intend on getting a truck once I get enough resources and I'm going to park that truck with something very specific on a picture, but I have to pay for it. And so if people contribute to us, 
they'll see what we're doing. But I also believe that it's my responsibility to be transparent. I try my best to tell people what's going on. Um, and we need those resources because like right now, there is something I'm trying to pay for, but it's costing me a ton of money. I put my own money on, on the line and I can't keep doing that too much more because my monkey need bananas and, 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 and apples and milk. But uh, yeah, they are not paying me. I literally am not getting one dime to my personal bills out of what we're advocating for. So I hope people will give us a chance and resource this work. Awesome. Uh, and please, guys, check out check out Jared Dyer Brown on Facebook. He does have a monkey. I, I didn't know you did until you were doing your thing. And I was like, is that a monkey next to him? Uh, but you're in Texas, <laughs> right? So you're able to. In New York City, we can't even have an iguana. Iguana, ferrets, all that is illegal here. But, is it, you know, I, I should move. Um, on that note, I hope that you stay safe. Um, I remember the first conversation we had, I, I kind of said that like, I hope that the movement is uh, peaceful uh, but impactful. And I think your response was, yeah, but, you know, that sounds like some Martin Luther King uh, speak, but I'm more Malcolm X. And I was like, okay, this guy is serious. He ain't playing around. <laughs> <laughs> but I know. But obviously, we want everyone to be safe, but we also obviously want some real action to come through. So uh, much love to you, man. I really appreciate it. Can I say one more through. thing? Can I say yeah, one yeah, thing? Because I ahead. forgot to say this about my side. I don't follow the crowd. Everybody has been attacking from the top down. We have a psychologist on our team who told us the best way that they felt to go on her based on the profile we compiled about Mayor Hinyard. She is not going to be affected by people attacking her. She's like a, a wooden force. She loves the conversation being on her. But when what we did that was different is we started going at what's around her and going from the bottom up. And all of that has been effective. So if you really pay attention, we know she feels the pressure. She's, she knows that the day is getting closer. And so with that being said, I'm asking for everybody out there, because y'all are the best detectives, get the information and share as much as you can find, because it's effective, it's working, and, and together, I guarantee you, we're going to take down this corrupt administration and get Andrew Holmes at the same time. I love y'all. Definitely, definitely. Oh, yeah. Jedi, start a YouTube channel, please. You don't have to monetize it. I think you'll get more spread of, of, of reach by doing that. If a few people already said open up a YouTube, like get a YouTube account, just repost your, your, your streams on there. I think you'll get even more people to come in and hopefully more people can contribute. But um, on that note, really appreciate you always welcome back to the channel. If you got something, just, you know, hit me up. I'll be available and we can again spread this information, disseminate this information out to as much people as possible so we can get more pressure. We can't, we can't let go, right? we got to keep the foot on the necks of these people because these are really bad people out here, and and I appreciate you for you know sacrificing so much of your your peace to to go out there and go after these bad people. So much love to you, man. No problem, animal. Thanks for having. Me. All right, later, bro. And Jed Dyer Brown, y'all. I'm sorry, I was so in, into that conversation. I totally didn't see a lot of the chat. I I do apologize to that. Um, let me just go through a few of them, um, real real quick. I see that uh, Reality TV Chicago became a member. Appreciate you, uh, Teresa, with $2 Super Chat. I'm curious about her economic interest statement. Um, I'm interested in that, too. I mean, hopefully a lot of that stuff will come uh, together. Uh, KC Cat with a $10 Super Chat. Born and raised in Dalton in South Holland and graduated from Thorn Ridge High School. I can't believe what's happening there. It makes me so sad. The whole Tiffany crew needs prison time. Yeah, I definitely agree. Oh, they definitely cannot stay in power at all. Um, Bam with a $5 Super Chat. Stephanie continues gifts the YouTube world with content. Yeah. And I'm going to be honest. I, 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 I wish she, she got arrested tomorrow. It's, it is exhausting because I feel like even with that stupid video we saw, she is gaslighting all of us by not even saying I'm sorry, not even saying I, I messed up. It's, she is just ramming her, you know, just ramming through this, this narrative that, we're not reporting all the positive things and then the laughing and her not apologizing to the people who've been hurt, firing people, not paying them. I wish it would end tomorrow. I really do. So as much as, yeah, it's, it's a cringe, dark humor, right? Like we're laughing. Sometimes I think that helps us kind of deal with all the trauma of, of what she has done to these people. It'd be great if this would just stop like tomorrow. Um, but unfortunately that's not going to happen. Economic interest. Yes. Listed assets. I've heard a lot of properties. I think I've heard that she has a house being built right now. We don't, I don't think she lives in Dalton. 
That's what I've heard. That she, that she does not live in Dalton right now. Um, 999 with uh, Dr. Nikita Cloud. Appreciate you. Love you and Jed. The trustees will be receiving an honor over the summer. We'd love to for you to come out for the journalist. Pre- I, if summer is much easier because, you know, I do got a 10 year old and he goes to school and whatnot, but definitely I'll be there in the next couple of months. Just, just to talk to you guys. Cause you guys are, definitely gave so much to me. Um, rain tree with a fada super sticker. Appreciate you. Oh, OJ. Get out of here. OJ Duke Jackson. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. Um, I don't know how much that is in Uganda money, but, doesn't matter. It's awesome that you you uh, show love. Shout out to you, brothers. Shout out to Jedi and Hannibal. Appreciate you. Check out OJ Duke Jackson. He's been putting a lot of uh, content out there about the Super Mayor and the real late night crew with a ten dollar well, ten gifted memberships. Appreciate you, bro. I sent you a video about her complaining about. You know what? You saw the video. Maybe you put you put it on later. I thought it was kind of funny because that video was so bad. Maybe she should have spent some more money on that or something. I don't know. Um, twenty dollars super chat from Z's Doctor. Uh, Miss, what's it, Doctor? Uh, Mister Jedi, I loved how you backed up Sean from Long Island Audit and how you put that plant Michael in his place. It's not even just a plant. I think what he said and many others have said they're desperate to maintain whatever reality they have, and no one is going to give Michael Smith a job in politics. Even, you know, but Tiffany will probably give that perception that she would. So he has to defend it. I think how, how everyone was passionate and emotional. He was just screaming and totally unhinged. Talking about what, what, what's the right thing to do. After all the things he has done in his past, he has the nerve to talk about what's the right and wrong thing to do. Yelling to, to, to Gonzalez, trustee Gonzalez, about if he went to Vegas. Like, what are you trying to say? Like, you think it's both the like. Okay, you may not like the fact they went to Vegas. Cool. But it's a big difference of what Holmes alleged and is accused of doing compared to just going to Vegas. Yeah, both may be wrong, but there's a one serious issue. So we, so for someone to just yell out why I went to Vegas does not excuse, excuse the fact that Holmes did something else. That's way worse than just going to Vegas. Like I think he was just be playing stupid at that point. Uh, keeping it real with Nam with a four ninety nine super chat. Make a YouTube Jedi. Yeah, you'll benefit benefit more than Facebook. I think the more you should like the more platforms, and especially if you're just taking um your videos and putting it on. But I'll 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 get them. I'll try to reach out again and see if you can get one. And Jedi B with the four fifty nine or forty nine ninety nine super sticker. Appreciate you. Um, he's definitely. Uh, hopefully, he comes back on because there's still a lot. To do there's still a lot going on um yeah did, yeah that, that is also true and even if you just don't monetize it and just be able to post your videos it's still a great way to bring more attention to this um because you know there are different groups there's one group that loves uh facebook and there's also another group that likes youtube it's i i, I check out both because of all the stuff that we're doing like i should probably have a facebook um like a page. I should probably, I keep forgetting to do that because you're able to just put videos and you, you never know who you're going to come across and where they, they found you from. So that's extremely important. Um, Heedy with the 499 Super Sick, appreciate you. Um, yeah, that, Kara, I, I totally agree. There's so much and and hopefully if they can break into whatever is happening in this police department that some uh, entity could come in and clean all this up that they can find those videos, find that unedited video to really break open and, and see what is going on in here. Because Lacey is a terrible leader. Like he, like what Jedi was saying, a lot of this was happening under Lacey's watch, just like how all the things are happening under Hania's watch. The leaders, if they're corrupt and, and, and stupid or incompetent, then it just filters on to the rest of the team, the rest of their of their supporters, the rest of you call it subordinates or whatever. But if it's possible that either Jedi can figure it out or um, Lightfoot, whoever, the, the police department. Because again, if you don't have trust in the police department, like what do you have? Like you, ha- you have to have some level of accountability. And something, hopefully something happens that forces 
you know, the AG, like, why Kwame, Kwame Raul? I, I really, I hope someday we also figure out why he hasn't investigated Hanyard. Uh, in my last live, we talked about a theory that he has friends with the lawyers, and these lawyers are are working for Hanyard. So this is this is the this is the 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 network, right? I think um, the speaker, I think it was uh, Chris Welsh, friends with 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 Delgado, and they apparently are friends with this guy because they're all lawyers. And I, I'm sure if you're friends with this lawyer, and you guys don't care about you know ethical being ethical and following the rule of law. Yeah, you don't, hey, hey, don't, don't investigate Hanyard. She's with me. It's all good. And Raul was, oh, okay. And, and throw it out, you know, deadlines that have been passed and nothing has happened. We, we're definitely going to have to figure out there's a deeper connection to a lot of stuff that's, that is, is Hanyard just an incompetent cog in all this? It sounds like it is to me. Um, I'm excited to hear about what Jedi has to say about um, Kamal Woods. I've received a lot of emails about him. Um, he's a lot. He has a lot. He's he's a he's he's a big load of trouble. Clearly, like a big big problem. Yeah. Uh, Jason House with a ten dollars super chat. Appreciate you, Jason House House uh, for mayor. Um, obviously doing the Lord's work. Just just hanging in there, man. I mean, that's I think that's what all trustees just hanging in there. Um, you know. Taking, taking obviously the hits uh, from Hanier and her administration for so long, even those like dealing with the criticism of, of bringing in Lightfoot, but still maintaining um, professionalism and bringing in us to, to talk about why you're doing what you're doing, being transparent. That's where that's the respect and that's the trust that you receive from your politicians. You don't need a politician to believe and agree with everything that they do. But at least let they talk about why they're doing it. Hanyard doesn't do any of that. It's either you love everything I'm doing and you respect it and you follow along, or I don't have any use for you. That's not a that's not a healthy relationship uh, between this, you know, either her employees or her or the community and her. That's why trust has been abandoned. And that's why she's getting booed. And that's why there's so many people talking now. I think that that level of um just the, the frustration is built over where they're no longer afraid of her and her nonsense and her people. So, but on that note, guys, appreciate you. I know, um, big shout out to Jediah Brown. He's definitely welcome back. I will be back next week. I'm sure that I will be talking about some of the findings that he's bringing on. Um, hopefully everything, you know, he stays safe out there because they're definitely out to get him in many ways. Hopefully everything goes the way it should be. But on that note, guys, Thank you for taking the time to watch me, check me out. Thank you for all the support. Much, much love. This keeps me going. I mean, this this is just an amazing display of, of support. And I hope I can return that favor by continuing to bring out, um, bring more information to you guys. So thank you very much for hanging out with me on this Saturday uh, afternoon or evening, whatever you are in this world. But I'll be back next week to talk more to you guys. So um, enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.